Hi, it's Brandon again, and welcome to the second installment of my HIV blog. Uh, I wanted to pick a subject today that uh, has really been affecting me uh, more so recently. Uh, I think a lot of us who are HIV positive especially those of us who have been sicker uh, can relate to being tired and drained um, and HIV medicines and HIV itself can really cause you to feel older um, it really adds aid it really does add to your age um, the problem is it's sort of like the invisible thing so uh, when people you know they expect you to be at your full capacity so if uh, you're supposed to go out with somebody some night and you just can't make it you know even and especially if you're um, open with your status it's difficult to say, oh, well, <laughs> sorry, uh, I have this saying, my AIDS is acting up, which is kind of funny because I'll use it for anything, you know, if my if uh, my car's not working or if I stub my toe, oh, my AIDS is acting up. Um, put a little bit of humor in there. I think that helps. Um, I'm very lucky with the AIDS Coalition that you know as long as I get my work done and because I do outreach and because of the type of work that I do I, I'm pretty free to move in and out of the office um, I have a lot of sleeping problems and I'm sure as many of you know even though we don't take 15 pills a day for HIV we take a lot of pills and you've got the pills that'll get you going and you've got pills that'll you know, get you to sleep. Um, I ran out of my Ambien uh, a week early somehow, and um, I could only sleep two hours a day. And you know, it was my friend's birthday, and he had been telling me about it for weeks. And you know, I really wanted to go, and it was it was for. Um, I had slept for about three hours and I'd woken up at 3 a.m. and I could not fall asleep for the rest of the morning so I was up for the entire day and he wanted to go out in the evening and I said look I I, I hate to say this because it, it just makes me sound like I don't care but it all depends on if I if I'm asleep or not and I took a shower to get ready to go out and um, I fell asleep and the other thing is it's it's not like I needed that sleep so uh, it's it's not like I could have just kept myself awake um, and I, I'm constantly finding myself battling with that um, and it really sucks because you don't want to be disabled and you want to work as hard as you can and have and your brain often is capable of doing 40, 50 hours a week but your body's just not there and uh, for me, it comes and it goes. So people see you on a good day, and then, uh, you know, it upsets me because I, I've never been the kind of person who's, oh, I'm sick, I'm sick. And now I get, oh, you're sick all the time. You always say you're sick. And I, I can tell that people, because they only see you when you're, when you're doing well. They don't realize that, uh, you know, you get two hours of sleep a day if you're lucky, or that you're in bed for 15 hours because you finally, 
you know, got to sleep, they don't get that, you know, having a cold could last a month and come with a wave of symptoms. And, uh, I, I mean, I, I had almost two solid months. So I, I, it's a hard situation, and um, I'm sharing it with you uh, in hopes that I know the first time I heard somebody with HIV uh, express this, it made me feel better because I honestly didn't know that HIV did that. I didn't know that the medicine and having HIV could cause you to be tired and exhausted. And... Uh, Prior to that, I had felt lazy or, you know, just um, antisocial. So this is really something um, I, th I think you need to forgive yourself. I think you need to pace yourself. Uh, from previous incidents, I my legs will swell up. And um, I'll just keep on going if, if I have, you know, a testing van that is going out for the weekend, I'll just push through it and I'll end up in the hospital because my legs will start uh, heating up and, and turning bright red. And I remember this Christmas, um, I had tentative plans and I canceled them and I, I stayed out of the hospital. Uh, because once, once I'm in the hospital, it's at least a week or two of recovery um, it's always a massive depression, um, constantly just thinking, oh, well, I'm no longer of use to anybody, um, and, and it, it, it's, it's a cycle, and it's hard, the hard, I think the hardest thing is, you know, everybody wants to push themselves, and everybody wants to do more than maybe is comfortable. But for us, it's even harder because mentally, yeah, mentally, you know, I can't even sleep. So, yeah, I, I do testing in a van until 3 in the morning. And, um, you know, and then sometimes I have to stay up until uh, 7 or 8 in the morning to move that van to another location. And my brain is totally fine with that. I'm still up. I'm still running, but my body is 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 just shutting down. And um, and that's what's the hardest, really, is is that you really are able to, you know, give that much of yourself, and people see that you know you're still functioning, and and uh, you know we we can only compare what we see to our own selves so people just think that you're you know you're making things up or at least that's how I feel um, so this is really an, an, is, an important issue um, especially as people with HIV are getting older and I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments about it so comment below um, this is just my first uh, topical vlog, so please let me know how I'm doing and uh, what you like and what you don't, and um, I'd be very willing to answer any questions.